Greetings YouTube, what's going on? John Deddy, Slayer Anthrax Testament, coming to you for a very late Tuesday tips. I know this is extremely late, but uh, a lot's been going on. If you uh, caught some of my Instagram posts earlier today, you'll see that uh, I'm doing some major upgrades here in the, uh, in the office, as I call it. It literally is an office, but uh, some of you think this is uh, a room at my house. No, it's, uh, it's an office. <laughs> that's in a rehearsal facility by the way so uh but nonetheless uh new microphones the kit is getting completely mic'd up cameras we're gonna have a three camera shot in here so just received the first uh first of i believe three or four packages today so the shore sm uh 91s for the kick drum showed up and uh the xlr cable showed up so now i'm just waiting on uh the rest of the microphones to show up, which are going to um, uh, be a company called Roswell Pro Audio. Um, they have been amazing and kind enough to send me microphones basically for the, uh, the rack toms, the floor toms, the snare, the overhead. It's going to kind of complete everything. And uh, then we're just waiting for an interface and uh, some other knickknack stuff, you know, some curtains to... Uh, well, make this not look so much like an office and some other stuff for the wall. So, uh, anyway, get ready for, uh, for new videos. Uh, I'm going to call it about two. It could be three weeks out, but, uh, right now I'm going to be proactive and say it's going to be two weeks. But anyway, that all said, I wanted to give you a, a tip for, uh, for this week, and that's going to be on your kick drums and, uh, specifically how, you know, some of you guys will... I, I've seen you ask this in the past, uh, how high up or down do you, do you keep the kick drum on the floor? Do you put the spurs so it's, it's angled way up? Maybe you might see some guys that have their kick drums literally pointed up. They've got the spurs down. Let me show you what I do. I'm going to flip the camera around here for a sec. Hold on. Okay, so what I like to do, you guys, is first of all, here's the spurs, right? You can see the angle on them. They're a little forward. I don't put them this far forward, but I do always, if you can see, let's push this guy up. I always twist this rubber thing so that the spur is completely out, so it can dig into the carpet as much as possible. Now for the height, I just like to use a finger. So my finger just barely, you know, it's, it's rubbing on the top of the hoop here. But that's where I like it. I want that kick drum, technically, I want that kick drum off of the floor. I don't want it, I don't want it vibrating on the floor. I don't want the hoop vibrating on the floor. On the other side of the kick drum, when you have a pedal in there, it's technically kind of raising the, uh, the drum off the ground a little bit, right? So the hoop is technically not touching the ground and I so I prefer it's not that you have to have it that way you guys but it's just the way I prefer and I don't like here, I'll flip around real quick I don't like the the uh the bass drum too angled up because then that angles the head on the other side right so as I'm trying to hit the the you know the head with the beater it just it starts having a weird feel and I, I want that beater to be kind of hit flush in a vertical or almost vertical position. So, um, and of course I do that with both, uh, with both bass drums. They're both, everything's identical. And then if, depending on what kind, I'm gonna flip this around again. Hold on. Now, Tama, if you can see this, you see the little grooves in there? Not sure if that's showing up or not. So there's little grooved notches in there, which is really cool because when I put my finger in there, it basically brings the top of the of the uh, you know the post here right to one of those lines. Now, maybe for your kit, regard you know depending on the type of drum kit you're playing, Pearl could be different, Gretsch, Sonar, you know I mean pick pick a drum company right. Yamaha, um, it may be, not sure what their uh, their markings look like here, but um, but again, 
just use the same finger. Don't use a left finger and a right finger. Use, if you're going to use your right finger, use your right finger. If it's going to be your, your, you know, your pointy finger, your middle finger, whatever, your thumb, it doesn't matter. Just use the same finger for both kicks, okay? So that you have it as, as uh, identical as possible. But um, anyway, that's it. That's going to be uh, just a quick tip. This is how I set my. Uh, this is how I set up my uh, my kick drums, and uh, at some point in the future, we'll also go over. I've gone over my uh, my pedals, and how I set those up. But uh, you know, we might we might touch on that again. Spring tension and all that. Oh, you guys love my spring tension. Love the authorities out there. So authority. Oh, you're doing it all wrong, John. <laughs> Am I? Oh, really? Well, I'll tell you what. You show me your results with your nice loose springs, and I'll show you my results with my nice tight springs, okay? Anyway, guys, all right, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, some awesome uh, upgrade in the audio video quality coming up. Again, just give me a couple more weeks, you guys, and uh, got some other stuff to share with you, too. So, anyway, until next week, John Deddy. Oh, follow me on Instagram. So I'm posting stuff every day. Check the stories, check the posts. You'll see what I do in the room and outside of the room so that I can be the best drummer I can be. And I am certainly pushing that right now. Going through a whole upgrade. The room's going through an upgrade and I'm going through an upgrade. So anyway, all right, you guys, that's it. Till next week.